Many years ago, China was at a very dangerous poverty level, but their government alongside the Chinese people fought hard to alleviate most of this situation and build the high-rise buildings and tech power we all see today. But why does the media keep bashing China for numerous reasons even when most are unfounded? China's GDP data is, is never accurate. There's a lot of reasons. And sadly, many people believe them. Do Chinese people feel the same way? Yeah, it's safe, right? And it's good. Yeah. Ah, 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 what but why do most Western media maintain a certain standard when reporting any news from China or from countries in Africa? Is the Western media really lying to people about China? Well guys, I've been in China for a couple of years and I have been dying to make this particular video. But one thing that motivated me to make this video today are some of the comments that I get. So many people keep saying that I'm paid or I'm sponsored and some people say that China is not what it seems. But that's not actually the case. And the immediate cause of me making this video right now is the news that came out last week concerning a bear here in China. You can watch. This morning, a zoo in eastern China is getting a lot of attention because of a video and a single burning question. Is this sun bear named Angela really a bear or is that a human in disguise? That's one of the reasons why I had to come and make this video for you guys to see. I am just here to share the truth so that everyone can see. And all right. So this is where I'm sitting. You can see it. It's just a coffee shop around here. Here in China, you can sit anywhere you want to sit and just chill. Of course, everything needs to be controlled in the same country. And one thing I can tell you is this. Most foreigners here in China have never had an encounter with the police because so many people keep saying that there's no freedom in China. All the buildings that I show in my videos are just random buildings or everything I talk about in my videos, the railway stations, the subway stations. So many people come to the comment section and say, oh, this is not real or I don't care about that if I don't have freedom. Is there no freedom here in China, guys? As you can see around me, everyone seems to be having freedom. And I am sitting here right now and I have my own freedom. You can see it. Let's see if we can get some coffee from in there. So let's go together, guys. Okay. Let's see. Hello? Uh, coffee? No. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna try to get some coffee and we can continue what we're doing. Okay, cafe eBay. Everywhere in the world you can find good people, you can find bad people, but you shouldn't let the world control how you think. You shouldn't let the world control how you see the world. I have had bad situations, but I won't let those situations control me. All right, so I just got my coffee right here. And we can head back out. Oh. Yeah. One of the reasons why I make these videos is just to show the world that peace, freedom, calmness, is attainable it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter where you find yourself it doesn't matter what country you find yourself in even in the u.s of course the land of the free europe in africa most countries most countries go through a lot due to politics due to healthcare, due to the social life of everyone but then i think that with time we all can learn from the system of china it doesn't matter the kind of system of government that we have and like i'm always saying guys well china isn't perfect it's got its downsides it's got its upsides but tell me which country is perfect do you know of any perfect country in the world even switzerland that so many people say is a fairy tale it's a perfect country it's got its own downsides there is no perfect country so why bash a country that is trying to do its best for its citizens because I believe that governments need to work for the citizens because what I've seen here in China over the couple of years that I've been living here is that so many people here in China live good, they live okay there's good people everywhere, there's bad people everywhere for example, if you travel to any country all over the world you will definitely find good and bad people it's just like here in China and again, responding to some people who were saying in the comment section that Chinese are racist to blacks well, there's racism everywhere in the world but then throughout my years here in China, I've met so many different Chinese people. Of course, I've experienced some sad times, some sad situations that I've had. But then the majority of the experience have been amazing. And the truth is that if I go to most countries in the world, I can still experience similar situations. So you can't tell me that I experience racism here in China. And if I go to the US and someone's racist to me, is that not being racist also? If I go to Europe and someone is racist to me, is that not being racist? Even in Africa. 
everywhere in the world, in every country, there's discrimination against some minorities. So if the media is telling you that this country or that country discriminates more against people of color, more than their own people, what do you really think? There are people raised differently. We all are not born the same. We all are not raised the same. People go through different experiences in life. People have to experience things differently and that builds them into who they become. I've seen all races being bad to other races. I've seen blacks being bad to white, Asians being bad to blacks, Asians being bad to white white being by to Asians. As a matter of fact guys, it is a general situation that everyone experiences at some point. But then, it is about individuals. You can't generalize a whole race because of the actions of a few people. We cannot do that because if you want to generalize a whole race, anyone saying that these people are racist, I can talk about people in your own race who are also racist. Anyone saying that these people or this race of people are bad people or they commit crimes left and right, I can also show you videos of people from your race committing those same crimes. So when the media tells you that China is bad, China is like this, all the skyscrapers are gonna fall because a couple of years back when China was building and developing, building all the skyscrapers and building all the subway stations, the media used to say that all these buildings are gonna fall down, all the buildings that have been built here in China will collapse after a few years. It's been about 10, 15, maybe 20 years and it keeps going strong and they take very good care of all of this infrastructure and those talking about the situation in the north with the muslims there are thousands of videos here on youtube you can go check them out where people have visited all the areas in xinjiang and other parts of china and shown you the real china and i myself will be going there soon to show you guys how amazing it is because i like to show everything firsthand by the way if you haven't subscribed yet like this video subscribe to this channel because very soon we are going on a trip it's gonna be an interesting trip and i'm certain that you will enjoy the trip with me so don't forget to like and subscribe and for all those believing the media so much i think that you should try to get a passport pay your flight ticket and travel not just to china travel to africa travel to most countries and experience the real life out here because when you experience the real life and you keep an open mind you will thank yourself in the long run because most times many people realize stuff like this when they are old and frail and they can't even travel anymore my advice to everyone is that you shouldn't let others determine how you feel every day you shouldn't let others determine or control your happiness hello, hello boss how are you do you know this one how's uh, that it's clean now clean shoes clean clothes no new water yes you, you look at here really yes shoes no new water wow yeah it's really good whoa wow. not bad yes clean t-shirt clean sofa clean man yeah uh, clean sofa I was just talking with that guy and he was about to sell something to me but sadly I don't really need it that much. I wanted to buy it but it's so expensive. I don't know if he got the price because I'm a foreigner or not but <laughs> I was trying to support his business though, just to support his business, but uh, he, he, he didn't want to accept it. And that's one thing about Chinese people, they do not accept tips, no matter how much you insist. Well, if you insist a lot over and over again, some of them might, at the end of the day, accept some of the tips. But after my years here in China, so many Chinese do not accept these tips. So when the Western media is saying that the subways are not real, or the trains are not real, or the life here in China is not real, or the sky, is actually red or brown that's the sky right there it's not green screen is that fake too all the people playing around all the people dancing at night the safety at night here in china is that fake too i've been here for a couple of years and i've never ever heard of a school shooting that's because the laws are for the people so now millennials my question is what does the western media tend to gain from tarnishing the image of china by saying that there's no freedom or everything you see is green screen is not real or there's 
so much trouble and people are going through a lot of difficulties here in China. For example, you can ask anyone anywhere in China and they will tell you. And some people ask in some comment sections like, then why do Chinese leave their country? Why do they leave their country to go visit other countries? Why do Americans leave their country? Why do Europeans leave their country? Everyone leaves their countries at some point. And when everyone leaves their country, they go somewhere to try to experience another life. That's the reason why I say everyone needs to travel at some point. So just to show you guys that Chinese love China and everyone loves China, let me try to ask a couple of people. Hey, hello. 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 How are you? Uh, uh, I'm fine. You're fine. You're <笑>你会说英语吗会一点你是中国的是吗是的你喜欢中国吗你喜欢你喜欢对啊你要去一个外国的国家吗嗯暂时没这个打算有打算过对你为什么不喜欢中国因为我是中国人然后呢哈哈
it looks fun around here guys and when you listen to the media you shouldn't just take in everything that the media says you can come here and experience it i am here right now filming but then i want to experience this let's see what happens and let's see how it goes you can take a look i think this is an exhibition center right here there's so many things they're selling there's books there's kids selling stuff this right here is the real china and this is how amazing it is every time hello <laughs> Some jewelry. Hello. They sell jewelry right here. Cheap here is what? This. 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 This is good. This is good. Yes. This is good. This is good. Ah, you have to go and take change from Goja. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. I to go. I want to go. I want to go. I to go. I want 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 not the China in the media. <laughs> Guys, just like I was saying, as you can see over there, that's what kids here in China learn. Kids learn how to dance, kids learn tech, how to build robots and how to do lots of amazing things with the time all right guys so let me try something interesting i just found here at this mall and let's see how it goes here is Yeah, how? I only got about five or four. I just want to tell you guys that you should keep an open mind in the world when you listen to the media and keep watching my videos. Thank you so much for the trust. Thank you so much for the support. I'm grateful. Don't forget, this is Willen. See you next time.